ഹലോ നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് സീക്വൻസസ് എന്നുള്ള ടോപ്പിക്കിലെ എട്ടാമത്തെ സെഷൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാം അപ്പോൾ ഈ സെഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ അടുത്ത ലിമിറ്റ് തിയറാം ലിമിറ്റ് തിയറാം ഫൈവ് പഠിക്കും അത് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ചെയ്യും ഇതാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ സെഷനിൽ ചെയ്യാൻ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് സോ കഴിഞ്ഞ സെഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചത് സ്ക്യൂസ് തിയറം ഫോർ സീക്വൻസസ് ആണ് അപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു ഹോംവർക്ക് ഞാൻ അതിൽ തരാം you find this uh, do this problem in your notebook find limit of minus 1 raised to n divided by n as n tends to infinity so your hint is that use skew's theorem okay so do this problem in your notebook now i will move on to next theorem theorem 5 so this theorem says that suppose sequence a n is a sequence such that limit of sequence a n as n goes to infinity is equal to n and suppose f is a continuous function then the theorem says that limit of sequence f of an as n goes to infinity is equal to f of l means f of limit of a n as n goes to infinity so limit of f of a n is same as f of limit of a n this is true only when f is a continuous function otherwise this result may not be true okay this is theorem 5 so uh, what is meant by uh, limit of f of an so suppose my sequence an is um say 1 2 3 4 etc and f of x is equal to 1 by x then f of an the see this is a sequence f of an means apply the function f on each element of the sequence each term of the sequence so f of a1 is 1 by 1 which is 1 f of a2 it is 1 by 2 then 1 by 3 etc this is sequence f of a so if you have sequence a n you can find another sequence sequence f of a okay for this particular example this theorem will not hold because here sequence an is divergent and the theorem discuss the condition where limit of an is a finite number f okay so only when f is a continuous function and only if limit of an is finite we can think about limit of sequence f of an so this is very useful theorem to find uh, limits of certain sequences we will do one problem using this uh find limit of e power sin 1 by n as n goes to infinity so you have to find limit of e power sin 1 by n as n goes to infinity okay i will do this problem using this result so first i am taking sequence an as 1 by n okay and i know that limit of sequence an that means limit of 1 by n as n goes to infinity is nothing but zero and i will take a function f 
सपोज माई एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स यू नो दैट दिस इज ए कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन थ्रू आउट द रियल लाइफ सो दिस इज कंटिन्यूस ऑन द एंटायर रियल लाइन आर फोर बाय दिस थियरम आई कैन से दैट देन ए एन गोज टू एल एफ ऑफ ए एन गोज टू एफ ऑफ एल हियर ए एन गोज टू सीरो सो बाय थियरम फाइव लिमिट ऑफ साइन वन बाय एन एस एन गोज टू इनफिनिटी इस इक्वल टू साइन ऑन सीरो Because a n goes to zero, and what is sine zero? It is zero. Okay. Now, I am taking b n as sine of one by n. I am taking a sequence b n as sine of one by n, and now we prove that limit of b n as n goes to infinity is zero. Okay. And now I am taking another function g of x as e power x, and this is exponential function. And we know that exponential function is continuous throughout the real line. So this is also continuous on R. Okay. Then again by theorem five, I am applying theorem five again. So b n goes to zero. therefore g of bn must go to g of 0 okay that is limit of uh, e power bn as n goes to infinity is equal to e power limit of bn and we know that limit of bn is 0 so this is 1 now what is meant by limit of e power bn that is limit of e power bn is sin of 1 by n as n goes to infinity is equal to 1 so using this theorem actually when we see this expression we feel that this is very difficult to find limit of the sequence but using theorem 5 it is much easy to find the limit so theorem 5 is really a useful result for us so i will move on to the next section in our next session so first section of sequences this 